Hola y bienvenidos y bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo del canal Estamos aquí de vuelta con Genshin Impact Y toca terminar por fin el evento que tanto me está gustando De la prueba de valor de Akitsu Es hora del acto 3 de Torrentes Mundanos Y hay que ir a la tercera ronda de eh, este, esta historia Me ha gustado muchísimo el evento Tengo que decir de que ha sido un evento que hay que entender que está muy guay Queda poco para que termine Así que voy a aprovechar para seguir disfrutándolo a tope y ojalá, lo que digo, próximamente ya pueda ir trayendo el contenido de Genshin Según va saliendo, pero es que esta vez ha sido mi culpa O sea, no tengo excusa, ¿vale? Me he estado diciendo al Midnight Suns Y es lo que pasa, aquí uno está enganchadísimo Tengo un montón de vídeos que hacer Que los he retrasado todo por el tema del Midnight Pero es que no lo esperaba Engancha, ese juego engancha, maravilla Cuando me, me lo acabe, me lo voy a tener un vacío existencial Vale, 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 ojo, vamos con el Izou Buena I'd like your assistance with this investigation Since you two are the only ones who have seen the alleged ghost me parece bien. ¿Tienes alguna idea, Hizo? I have a few theories, but we don't have enough leads yet. There are some places I'd like to investigate first, so you two can accompany me. Sure. Where would you like to start? I want to go back to where we first met up. According to your accounts, you encountered the ghost there and passed out. I believe there may still be some clues there. Vale. Are you worried that she'll be waiting for us? If anything, that would make things easier. My worry is that we won't be able to find her. Honestly, it'd save me a lot of trouble if she were to show up on her own. Wow, Hazel, you're fearless. The more cases you see, the less afraid you become. Let's go. Vale, aquí está la prueba de valor de Akitsu 3, Torrentes Mundanos. Vamos a ver de qué va todo esto. Y vamos a, en este caso, al lugar donde conocimos a la misteriosa mujer que se había hablado. This should be approximately where you first encountered the ghost. Of course, we cannot conclude whether the woman is actually a ghost or not at this point. But I'd like to go over everything that happened again. Do you recall anything she said at the time? She warned us not to go near her, and she said if we didn't leave, our souls would become trapped here. Vale. Ooh, Paimon doesn't want to remember that moment. Paimon shivering just thinking about it. And then what happened? Then, everything seemed to get darker, and Paimon started to feel dizzy. There were ghostly flames flickering all around, and... Paimon saw some sort of black mist surrounding the ghost, and then Paimon passed out. Hmm. Based on your account, it does really seem like you've seen a ghost. Exactly! So are you convinced it was a ghost now? It's possible, but I'm more interested in what she's actually trying to achieve than what she is. Even if she is a ghost, as long as she possesses some sense of reason, then there must be some purpose behind her actions. Vaya. Wasn't she after our souls? She said that herself. I think she was just trying to scare you. Oh, you think so? Think about it. If I had the ability to take your souls, then why go to the trouble of warning Eso you over and over and over again? Es un Besides, con la vida. a ghost wouldn't have allowed you to walk away knowing about the secret of its powers. Hmm, that does make sense. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Tenías tanto miedo que no podías pensar. I believe there are only two possibilities. The first is that she wanted to reap your souls, but there was some condition that had to be met. You know, like what we usually call a curse. But if you had really been cursed, then you would probably have noticed it by now. So, this is the less likely scenario. I believe she was just trying to scare you away. But why would she want to scare us away? Mm. Oh, Paimon knows! Maybe she was trying to get us to quit so she could claim the Test of Courage prizes! ¿Estaba registrada como participante? Oh! Hmm. Probably not. So why does she want to scare us? Do you have any ideas, Hazel? Based solely on your account, 
I don't believe she actually meant any harm. She just didn't want you to stay here. But this evidence alone is insufficient to make any valid assumptions. She could very well be guarding some treasure or covering up a crime. Though, my intuition is telling me that neither of these hypotheses are correct. Let's continue investigating the surrounding area. Vale, vamos a examinar la pista. En eso hay unas huellas. Estas son las flores donde estaba, ¿no? Hmm. Vamos a ver qué hemos descubierto con el detective Heizo. Have you found any leads yet? Vimos unas ramas un poco extrañas. Yeah, some tree branches seem like they were bent by something, but that's about it. I see. After you left, I took a good look around the area. Aside from the bent branches, there are burn marks in some places, but that doesn't really tell us much. If only there was some more conclusive evidence. Excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's you guys! What are you all doing here? We heard you were out searching for clues, and we wanted to help. Vaya. Oh, that's... Uh, actually... We're also really unsure about what's happening here. We just asked the members of Mr. Ito's gang about what happened to them, and it sounded really scary. That lady is either a nasty evil spirit or a formidable yokai. Either way, it's not good. B but we still want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival. Uh huh. We long admired the friendship between Lord Kamai and the Samurai, which is why we want to hold the Mikawa Flower Festival, to return the favor we once received from the humans. Even though our powers are limited, we don't want this bond of friendship to vanish. The Mikawa Flower Festival is meant to be enjoyable for everyone. The Chinju Forest covers a large area, so it'd be great to have more help in the investigation. Welcome to the team. Let's all do our best to figure out what's going on. Don't worry, we're very familiar with the area. We won't miss any clues. Pues parece que los yokais nos van a ayudar, así que nada. Vamos a ver qué descubren aquí con las flores. Hey, amigos. Look what I found down by the river. Vale, ha encontrado algo capa. Huh? What is it? ¿Qué habéis encontrado? Is it a scrap of black cloth? Negra? This is a piece of shade cloth. Shade cloth? Será opaca, eso qué es? Yeah, it can effectively block out light and is used in a variety of settings, including stage performances. There's a rough tear in the cloth, probably caused by a sharp stone, or maybe some branches. Branches? Suppose that a large shade cloth was originally hung from a tree, bending the branches. When the shade cloth was removed from the tree, perhaps one of the corners caught and the branches ripped it, causing a small piece of black cloth to fall into the river. Either she didn't care, or she was in too great a hurry. Perhaps she Pero had other real, no? But why would she hang shade cloth in the trees? I'm only speculating, but maybe she used it to create the atmosphere you experienced. ¿Qué quieres decir? Let's not worry about that for now. Vale, este tío es detective con lo que yo os decía. Next, I'd like to investigate the place where the Arataki gang encountered her. Do you know how to get there? Oh, I know the way. I asked the gang members where their encounter with the ghost happened when we were chatting earlier. I'll take you there. Good. Please lead the way. Let's go find out what's going on. Vale, pues aquí en este caso sí los pequeños yokai hacen la investigación. Vamos a ver qué más encontramos. Me está flipando, ¿eh? este, este evento es muy divertido. Es lo que digo, es mmm, divertido, te lo pasas en grande y vas descubriendo cositas con nuevos personajes que siempre están ahí, ¿vale? Cuando pasaron por aquí, la área se volvió oscura y algunos fuegos ghostly flames aparecieron de no lugar. ¿Sí? Vimos la misma cosa. Vamos a empezar por tomar una mirada alrededor de la área. 
just as we did before. Vale, esto ent entiendo que es un modo de desentrañar el misterio de lo que pueda haber pasado por aquí, ¿no? Vamos a hablar con ellos. Touching from the burn marks left on the scene, the ghost brother, they appear to have been caused by. Vale. A ver si Capa ha encontrado algo. Algo está en las grietas de esta roca. Vale, se siente cansado por, por lo del polvo, entonces. Pelota destrozada. Vale, bombas de humo, entonces. Vale, son pirotecnia. Vale, pues tenemos pirotecnia. Hey, Zou. Y el culpable es... Joinilla. ¿Os imagináis que todo es en plan de Joinilla para asustarnos? I believe we're closing in on the truth now. I'm almost certain that the woman you encountered was not a ghost. She possesses no extraordinary powers. She was merely scaring people with some small props she had set up ahead of time. Some small props? Like, can you really do all that with just some props? What we saw was absolutely terrifying. First and foremost, the test of courage contributed to the unsettling atmosphere here. You were initially frightened by your first encounter with these three yokai, and then shortly after, you ran into the mysterious woman. It was natural for you to be on edge. Because you were already tensed up, you were breathing more rapidly and inhaled a lot of sleeping powder that she had sprinkled around the area. That vale. is what caused you to feel dizzy. That's when she pulled down the shade cloth and lit those so-called ghostly flames, creating a terrifying scene. Hmm. That's the most likely explanation, anyway. So it was all just a show. Uh, she tricked us. Vale, o sea, nos ha engañado y no es un fantasma. There is, however, still one loose end. The person who commissioned my investigation did become stranded on the beach as a result of some unusual power that couldn't have been accomplished by just a few small props. But if she possesses such powers, why bother with the theatrics? Oh, Paimon can't wrap her head around all this. Vamos. She can only use props to scare people in the forest, but she can use strange powers on the beach. Huh, I see. I think I've figured it out. Whoa, that was fast. If we rule out the potential of organized crime, then only one possibility remains. A ver qué es. I know who the woman is. Vale, vale, sabe quién es la mujer. We'll come along too. Pero ¿y la prueba? You should go back and tell the others not to be afraid and not waste their time searching the forest. The truth has surfaced. It's time to put an end to all the unnecessary panic and await the outcome of the test of courage. Okay, but please be careful. If you run into any danger, simply call out our names. We'll be able to hear you. There shouldn't be any danger now, but thank you anyway. Let's go. Vamos. Mola mucho esa idea ahí con Cristo. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a chunk of earth vale. that's unlike the others. Yo no sé lo que ha visto, pero yo creo que ya más o menos sé por dónde va esto. Es poca broma. Vamos a ver. Parece que aquí hay algo. Y ahí está. Knew it. I knew that you would come find me here. Ojo. There she is. I thought you were a yokai like the others, but they said they never seen you before. So, who are you? And why did you try to scare us? I have already warned you never to speak to me. If you don't leave now, then. Don't move. Just trust me. Your yokai power won't scare us. It will only hasten your demise. Yokai power? Huh? How did you know? Your yokai that emerged from an object and assumed a human form outside of your own body. When this type of yokai is close to its own body, it can use some yokai power, but that ability weakens as it moves further away. And if the original body is destroyed, 
then the yokai that originated from it will likewise perish. Should I refer to you as a Hogoita spirit or Tsukumogami? Don't bother. You may call me Hanyuda Chizuru. That is the name I go by now. Chizuru? Why do you want us to leave? If you're a yokai, you should understand why the other yokai want to interact with humans. Besides, we had a great time playing Akitsu Yugen together, didn't we? Just like the story of Kamai and the Samurai. Yes. That's why. That's why I don't want you to be sad, too. Sad? What do you mean? I'm sure the yokai have already told you of the story about Kamai befriending the samurai. But they don't actually know the entire story. The samurai was about 25 years old when they met at the festival. <clears throat> they met again 10 years later and remained friends. They spent time together drinking, traveling, and sparring. When they had first met, they merely respected each other. But 10 years later, they became best friends. After another decade, the samurai had reached the pinnacle of his swordsmanship and won their duel by a narrow margin. Kamai was so astonished by his defeat, he gave up drinking and began training to become stronger for their next duel. However, another ten years later, Kamai did not meet the samurai. As it turned out, war had broken out in the south, and the samurai had gone to defend the border. Kamai was unconcerned, because ten years was nothing in a yokai's lifetime. But when they met once again, Kamai discovered that the samurai was already 65 years old. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the samurai's gray hair and scars covering his body. Hey, old friend. Can you still wield the sword? <sighs> I'm getting too old to fight. <sighs> this time, I've come to say goodbye. I see. Then, how about one last game of Akitsu Hazara? <sighs> All right. The samurai gave his best effort during the game, but had to quit halfway through because he was too weak. After putting down his agoita, Kamai remained silent for a long time before letting out a long sigh. <sighs> what a shame. Their friendship started as something they looked forward to, and in just a few decades it turned into regret. Lord Kamai's appearance hadn't changed, but his dear friend in front of him had grown old. The joys of friendship gradually gave way to the pain of regret. People <coughs> often say, Madre mía, me está gustando mucho lo que digo. Las animaciones que han hecho para esta historia y este evento son brutales. Y todo lo que es esta historia está siendo muy, muy guapo. Tenemos All that is left are sorrowful memories and lingering pain. Even a wise and seasoned yokai like Kamai felt sadness when it was time to say goodbye. Imagine what a pure and kind little yokai would feel. Oh. So, you mean... I was hiding on this beach, waiting for the last of my days. But those three yokai came and set up the Akitsu Yugen here, which woke me from my slumber. I didn't want them to approach humans with unbridled optimism and enthusiasm just because they'd heard the legend of Kamai and the Samurai. That would simply be repeating the same mistake. 
Is that why you pretended to be a ghost? To scare all the people away from here? Oh, so you must be the one who trapped that guy on the beach. That was a little bit harsh, don't you think? My power has become pretty weak now. And most of the time, I just use some props I've collected to scare people. I can't show myself when there are a lot of people around. But that jerk was greedy. He wanted to steal the decorations from Akitsu Yugen and sell them for a profit. That's why I used my yokai power. To teach him a lesson. Ah, so that's what happened. You have a strong sense of justice. By the way, how did you know the rest of the story about Kamai and the Samurai? <sighs> it's okay if you don't want to tell us. I've already figured it out. Your true form is this pair of Hagoita, isn't it? Hagoita? Oh, wait! So that means she's... The pair of Hagoita used by Kamai and the human samurai to play Akitsu Hazura hundreds of years ago. You gradually developed sentience after being influenced by great yokai power. <laughs> you were the closest to witness their story. Even with the yokai power's blessing, the Hagoita have started to rot away after hundreds of years. You can't sustain yourself, so you were forced to rely on props to scare people. And if my theory is correct, this pair of Hagoita is also the item we need to find for the third round of the Test of Courage. Excellent work. You figured it all out. Congratulations, little ones. You've passed the third round of the Test of Courage. Miko? And the Shrine Maiden? Paimon thought you went missing. I apologize for causing you concern. It was actually Lady Yai's idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you think? Were you scared? Because fear is induced by uncertainty, the more chaotic the situation, the better. Having the event staff also mysteriously vanish only added to the uncertainty. I must say, I think this test of courage truly lived up to its name. So you're the one responsible for all the scary stuff! Hitomi, go tell the others that the test of courage has ended and that we have a winner. Now that I've solved the mystery, I'm going back to meet with my client. The intent to steal is not exactly a serious crime, but it can't go unpunished. I'll see you two later. Nico, did you choose the Hagoita for the third round of the Test of Courage because you already knew about Chizuru? Miko, Lady Yai, you're... I followed Kitsune Saigu around the Mikawa Flower Festival one year, and saw her play Akitsu Hazura. That was when I saw you. You didn't have a human form at the time, and possessed only the earliest traces of sentience. I remember now. You were on Kitsune Saigu's shoulder. I went for a stroll on the beach some time ago and sensed a familiar yokai power. Though your power was weak, I was still able to find you. You were sitting in a tree, gazing at the tourists below. I overheard you telling yourself that you must be patient and avoid contact with humans. Huh? When was that? I didn't notice you at all. With your powers being so diminished, it was only natural that you didn't notice me. You must have been blaming yourself all this time. You knew Kamai and the Samurai became friends as a result of Akitsu Hazura, a game connected to your existence. At the time, I couldn't take on a human form like this. I had only a hazy sense of the outer world. After they first met at the Mikawa Flower Festival, I felt proud to know that I had left a mark on their story. But after they said their final goodbyes, I could often hear Kamai sighing to himself. I couldn't help but hide, 
Estoy flipando porque <ríe> realmente estoy haciendo una historia que pinta tu piso, ¿eh? Se ha currado el evento de principio a fin, me ha, me ha llamado mucho la, la esto. Y ojo, que aparezca aquí la llave Miko ya me preocupa más. <ríe> a ver qué pasa aquí. After such a short time, they leave only regret and sadness in their wake. Is it really worthwhile for us yokai to interact with humans? Why not? Tell me, how did you feel when you played Akitsu Yugen with the Traveler? I felt happy, but... Mm, but your rationality told you that it was wrong, didn't it? It turns out that there is still another piece to the story of Kamai and the Samurai that you are missing. What do you mean? The Samurai and Kamai never met again. True, but the story doesn't end there. That Samurai's name was Yanagibashi Takuto, who also happens to be the founder of the Soran Ishin art. Vale. It is believed that Takuto developed this style of swordsmanship while dueling with Kamai. With Kamai no? Who had also befriended the third generation heir of the Soran Ishin art. 500 years ago, vale. Kamai o sea, and Tominaga fought side by side Akuma, until their final moments, and the sword Tominaga wielded was passed down from Yanagibashi. The regret Kamai once felt had finally been resolved. Oh, I never knew. We yokai are not like humans. Humans have too short a lifespan, and the day will inevitably come when we must say goodbye. However, the bond formed by friendship will not be broken, but rather carried on in a new form. There's no reason to be upset by this. Time flies by in an instant, and life passes by like a dream. So, you must be happy in the present. You should understand what I mean now. Hey, compadres! Ito, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hitomi told me everything, and I also heard that you won the last round. Vale. I even know who the ghost <coughs> lady is now. Anyway, I had a little discussion with the others. And... Hey, you're that fox lady. La mujer zorra. Why are you here? Es 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 la Miku. Ya Miku siempre aparece por ahí. Please just disregard my presence. Now, tell us what you discussed. Ah, right. <clears throat> All right, listen up. To celebrate the end of the Test of Courage event, we will be holding the Mikawa Flower Festival. I gave it some real vale, thought. Vale, vamos a hacer el festival de, de Mikawa, así que, que no, no, vamos a ver de qué va todo esto porque estamos hablando mucho. But with my help, wow. no problem. A tope. That's right. Arataki, the one and only Ito, will be in charge of organizing the best Mikawa Flower Festival anyone's ever seen. <laughs> ya está, ya está flipando, se digo. Oh. Dios, tiene fans. Uh, can we really trust this guy with the festival? Um, te diría que no, pero Hey, what you trying to say? Besides, it won't just be me. Other people Ah, vale, voy a ya todo va a estar ahí, Even my bro Ayato is going to be there. Everyone's busy getting ready and the festival will be up and running in no time. It won't be long until you can all join the fun. <laughs> You're the best, Ito. Hey, Ito tiene ya su club de fans, ¿eh? hay que decirlo. Vale, pues vamos a ver qué más pasa por aquí. Ito y los suyos preparan el festival junto a los yokai. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Aquí está el festival, lo tenemos todo listo. And what would a festival be without me? I'll be sure to go have a look too. Ah, it has been some time since I've attended a festival. Fortunately, I brought sake with me. Paimon's got to admit, Ito does have his moments. A festival, delicious food, come Paimon in! ¿Tú también vienes, Chizuru? Uh, all right, I'll join. If you don't mind, that is. Looks like the festival has started! Let's go check it out! Vale, pues ahora hay que disfrutar de esto, así que vamos a ver de qué va todo. ¡Ito! ¡Igoro! ¡Ey! ¿Cómo va? Bien, está lo que bien acaba. ¡Fishing! 
You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! Huh? Y you wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did! I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. Dios, she no sabe lo de really que Goro es, es la señorita oh, Hina. What a coincidence. I do some part-time work there and I recently received a similar letter. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No. Could it be? Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> Dios. Bueno, pues vamos a ver el resto. Oh, the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry. Let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon's seen this game in some light novels before. Do you want to give a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Oh, it looks kind of tricky. Paimon will let the traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since... Uh, but Yoimiya... If I close one eye, I won't verdad, be able to see anything. Uno puede. <laughs> this ramen is so good. Aquí están todos. Ayaka, yes. eh, Sayu. It feels like it's been ages. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious. Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt, so I don't get to eat them very often. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Huh? Oh, uh, please, no need to bring that up again. Phew, I'm stuffed. Vale, pues parece que Sayu se va a decir esta, típico de ella. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but well, it's a long story. Vale. Quizás tengamos ahora una cinemática más de estas chulas. <coughs> Las cinemáticas me han parecido una auténtica maravilla, la verdad que han sido muy divertidas y está gustando mucho toda la trama. No he pescado ni uno. To finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon wanted one too. All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Yay! Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. Hey now, it costs all money all to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? Uh, fair enough. How about five masks for 30% off? Final offer. All right, all right. Uh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. Vale. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. Besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. 
Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have... <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. <laughs> yes. Al final well ahí allá todo estaba hey, controlando, you eh. Stop laughing. It was scary. <laughs> hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Sí. Dimos una buena vuelta. Well then, are you having a good time? No lo hemos yeah, pasado genial, super bien. The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively, but even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Sí. Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to him alone? We'll leave you in peace. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? A ver, ¿qué nos dice? Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know... It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. <sighs> Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Alone on the beach. Vale, vamos a la playa a hablar con nuestra amiga y a ver qué pasa. Vamos a ver, nos indica que está aquí, ¿no? El risco. No. Vamos allá, vamos a cambiar aquí a Tortaglia. A ver qué pasa. All right, here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. No hay de qué. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. Te entiendo. I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. Pues sí. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. ¿Por qué? Hmm. I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play a Kitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played a Kitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So, can I make another wish? Por supuesto. Pídemelo. Let me think. Deseo que me recuerdes siempre. for you to remember me. Uh, no, okay. Listen carefully. I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy, like a festival. Ah, desaparecido. Ah, oh, qué rabia. Pues con esto tenemos la misión completada. ¿Qué queréis que os diga? Me ha encantado. O sea, es lo que digo. Realmente está muy top toda esta historia. Me está pareciendo muy divertida. 
Y wow, es que se la han sabido currar de principio a fin Con todo esto entiendo que hemos terminado eh, todo lo que son las misiones del festival, ¿vale? Aquí estaría todo terminado, hemos pedido el deseo y demás Y ahora lo que podremos es acceder a la última parte de las pruebas de valor de la Ikitsu Así que vamos a venir por aquí rapidito y vamos un poquito a completarlo a ver qué pasa ahora, ¿no? Aquí la gente sigue, como podéis ver, con el tema del festival, así que todo sigue súper guay. Pero bueno, nosotros vamos a venir por aquí y vamos a entrar en diversión. Y a ver un poquito de Akitsu que nos hacemos, ¿no? Empezar una partida. Ok, pues vamos a empezar por Dango Tricolor con Terrones de Azúcar, juego de niños, ya sabéis. Tengo que decirlo, pero esto me flipa, me lo paso bien grande y la verdad que mola muchísimo. Vamos a meternos aquí al niño agua. Yo creo que con este equipo voy bien y como siempre las mejoras que estoy cogiendo para esto, que son estas dos, me parecen guapísimas para ir al modo fácil. Vamos a ver, esto la clave va a ser tirarlo ahí en medio, ¿no? A ver, también podemos congelarlo. Bah. Congelamos los dos, lo rompemos ahí, pim pam, has visto que, que con vaso, ¿eh? Poca broma. Vale, vamos a intentar quitar esos bloques. Vale, ahí un poquito de electro. Bah. Ahí está, ahí está el buen Inazuma Eleven, chaval. ¡Pumba! ¡Cómo destroza, eh! Vale, ahí está. ¡Epa! ¡Ahí va! ¡Bum! ¡Ah! Eh, que no le he dado al otro, tío. Ahí, 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 ahí. Vale. ¡Jo, jo, jo! Vamos con un poquito de fuego. Ahí está, que se cuele bien dentro. Ojo. Madre mía, chaval. ¡Hola! Ahí me la he comido con patatas. <ríe> me la he comido con patatas. No, no me lo esperaba y me ha dado aquí el giro. Bueno, vamos a intentar hacer una combinación eléctrica. Ahí está, ahí. ¡pum! Bien cargada y ahora con fuego. Ahí está, disparamos por aquí. ¡Pum, pum! Vale, ya está. Desafío completado, nos ha costado literalmente nada, tenemos un buen récord y ahora volvemos por aquí y vamos a darle otra vez. Vale, vamos al juego de Akitsu, ya sabéis, venimos por aquí, vamos a ponerlo difícil y al lío. Vamos a hacer la misma build de antes, vale, vamos aquí con el niño agua y demás y aquí pues en habilidad nos ponemos esta aquí, esta aquí y... Eh, esta, ¿no? Disparo simultáneo, vale. Empezar, al lío que vamos. Vale, aquí lo bueno es, eh, la clave sería colarla en medio. Yo creo que se puede. Vamos a esperar a que pase esto y... ¡Pam! Y así se cierra y esto hace una destroza que flipa, ¿no? Vamos allá, pa, pa. Me mola porque la va devolviendo, pero ahí, 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 ahí es lo que quería conseguir. Guau, 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 espérate. Ahí, 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 ahí. Venga, 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 venga. ¡Ay! No la he visto, tío, no la he visto. No la, no la había visto bien. Vale. Vamos allá. Y ahí estamos. Alio. Golpes rápidos que puedan hacer combo. Ahí va, bien fuerte. Ahí, ahí, ahí está. Vale, ahora cambiamos aquí a rayo. La electrocargamos, pillamos el bloque del fondo y hacemos aquí la destroza. Ahí está. Bien. Vamos con Eula, la pegamos. Ahí está. Yo creo que con esto nos destrozamos casi todo. ¡Ojo! Sí, he intentado hacer el cambio, pero no podía. Hay que congelar. Ahí está, ahí está. 
congelamos Ahí va vale. Vamos bien Bueno Hemos hecho puntos Tenemos 5000 nos, nos sirve Vamos a recoger las buenas recompensas Desde aquí se puede, ¿no? Diversión desmesurada, venimos por aquí y bueno, vamos a empezar la partida. Aquí tenemos las recompensas, las cogemos todas de este bloque, muy bien. Y esto ya estaría. Vamos ahora con la última. Puchero elemental cuadricolor. Ya sabéis, primero la de práctica y luego la tocha. Es fácil, ¿eh? O sea, no, no es un evento que nos vaya a costar. Me lo he pasado muy en grande, tengo que decirlo. Eh, es bastante, bastante divertido todo el tema de los yokai y... No sé, me ha gustado muchísimo. Creo que probablemente de los mejores eventos de Genshin en mucho tiempo. ¿eh? Vamos a darle aquí fuego a todo. Este es un electrocargado, yo creo que se hace más rápido. Sí, ¿no? Ahí está. Ahí está, aquí He fallado. Ah, ahí ya no podía, tío. Vamos a congelarlo todo. Ahí está. Y, re y que veramos. Uh. Esas son las de agua, ¿no? Esas son las que podemos congelar. O sea, vamos aquí con Ketchin. Ahí he fallado que flipas, pero no pasa nada. Tenemos aquí esto a tope. Vale, ahí lo tenemos completado el desafío. Muy bien. Vamos ahora con el último. Que sería el modo hard ¿no? de, esta, de este juego de la Kitsu. Lo que digo de la Kitsu es un juego divertido. Eh, me recuerda mucho... Al, a, a, me, me dan ganas de jugar este tipo de juegos En plan guay ¿eh? <risa> Algún juego así que sea como un remaster De este clásico del tenis ¿no? De toda la vida Estaría bastante bastante top Pero bueno, vamos por aquí, vamos a empezar Y vamos un poquito al lío ¿no? a ver qué pasa Por aquí lo que veo es que la apertura la tenemos un poco complicada Así que vamos a hacer aquí El lanzamiento tocho con que que Esto debería de funcionar, ahí está Y cambiamos a hielo Y a seguido vamos a cambiar con Joy Milla Aquí a fuego Ahí vamos, a fuego. A fuego rápido, vale, ahí está. Eso es lo que busco. Es que lo que busco era quitarme eso de ahí, no lo he conseguido todavía. Ahí estamos, el centro está afuera. Muy bien. Vamos a ver aquí. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Vale. Ahí, ahí, ahí es donde tiene que hacer daño. Ojo, pero no la veo, eh. Puede salir en cualquier momento y no la veo. Hasta, me ha salido bien. Sí, sí, sí. Buah, que sí, me ha salido genial, eh. No, ¿qué dices, tío? He, fa he fallado por, por retarde, literal. Quería hacer algo de tirarla para aquí, para que se enganchara y, se, y he dejado de mirar la, la, la bola otra vez, a ver. Vale, eso es lo que queríamos. Quería intentar eso rapidito, pero lo que yo me salió un poquito raro. Ahí está, muy bien. Vamos a intentar colarla adentro. Y que esto cuando cierre, pues lo que digo, sabemos nosotros no los que abramos esto, la like, Vale, ahí vamos a intentar. Eh, ahí está. Es que a veces. Ahí, 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 ahí es lo que queríamos. Vale. Vamos allá. Se está dando ella sola. Vamos bien. 
sea, tenemos más de 4.000 puntos, pues bastante. Pues ahí con un poquito de suerte lo veo, me hace aquí todo, eh. Toda la destroza. Ahí está. Disparamos un poquito por aquí. Pa, 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 pa. Muy bien. Dentro, dentro, dentro. Vamos con Eula. Cambiamos de nuevo a agua. Le damos un toquecito de velocidad. Y ahora con lo de disparar y un poquito aquí de esto, yo creo que nos lo quitamos todo rápido, eh. Ahí. ¡Ojo! Vale. Quedan pocos segundos, pero vamos allá. Voy a cambiar. Ahí está. Y ahora cambiamos a esto. La vamos congelando, la vamos tirando para allá Y cuando ya esté colada yo creo que ya lo tenemos bastante, bastante listo todo Porque podemos hacer aquí mucho daño con la pelota Vamos allá, fuego ¡Oh, Dios, qué rabia! O me quedan pocas pelotas, ¿eh? Ahora hay que ir con cuidadito Cuidadito y voy con el electro Ahí está, perfecto Pues nada, 6.800 puntacos Lo que digo, como siempre ya sabéis mis clasificaciones para batirlas y ahora vamos a venir por aquí, vamos a ir terminando esto de la mejor de las maneras. Por un lado eh, empezamos una partida, venimos a recoger las recompensas, aquí están todas. Al final han sido un montón de protogemas, unas coronas y un montón de objetos super tops. Y ahora vamos con lo último del evento, que sería el último de estos jefes ¿no? que hay en este portal de aquí. Así que vamos a enfrentarnos a ellos y a ver qué sale. Tenía ganas de completar el evento, de disfrutar de este momento con vosotros y vosotras. Y la verdad que ha estado bastante guay, toca la doncella a Cuanodosa, así que vamos a empezar. Vamos con nuestro equipo, vamos con Eula, con, con... vamos a meter a Raiden Shogun, con Diluc y de paso de agua vamos a meter en este caso a eh, Yelan. Me parece un equipo interesante, vamos ahí, vamos a elegir técnicas, esto de aquí, esto de aquí y esto, yo aquí no me lo pienso y empezar. Vale, llama a doncella cosa, puede invocar varios espejos acuáticos. O sea, esta tiene espejos, chaval. Final boss. Vamos a ver qué tal es esto. Vamos a la partida, ¿no? Ahí está, algo ha cambiado en el dominio. <ríe> ya me dices tú lo que es. Vale, uff, espérate, dilu. No, no, dilu. Vale, ahora que hemos hecho el hueco... ¡Opa! Me la comió. Vale. Golpeamos ahora con un piro. Vamos a hacer aquí un poco de... Ahí, ahí. Tenemos ahora doble barrera para darle. Le estoy dando con... No paro de darle así. Va bien, ¿eh? Así el truquillo. Ojo. Vamos a seguir con esta y le seguimos dando. Así está siendo fácil. Vale. Vamos allá. Golpeamos. Volvemos a golpear. Oh, ahí he fallado. Bueno, disparamos y adiós. Listo. Pues ha estado fácil. Me ha molado bastante. Pues lo que digo, yo con esto creo que ya vamos, ya va siendo hora de terminar el evento. Me ha parecido muy divertido todo lo que hemos ido haciendo con cada una de estas pruebas. Creo que, lo que digo, tienen un estilo muy chulo que le pega realmente a Inazuma con el tema de los yokai y demás. Así que ahora simplemente vamos a recoger todas las recompensas. Y ahí lo tenemos todo, gente. El evento completadito al 100%. Hemos conseguido un montón de protogemas, hemos conseguido la corona. Y ahora lo único que nos quedaría importante es venir aquí. Aparte de lo que digo, de que podéis disfrutar completamente de este pequeño festival que nos han montado a la altura de la playa. Una cosa importante, que no se os olvide canjear las recompensas del evento. Así que venimos a la pestaña de evento, venimos aquí y pulsamos cuadrado para venir a la tienda del evento. Y ahora pues vamos a comprar todo lo que tengamos aquí en la tienda con estas fichas que nos sobran. Sobre todo yo lo que recomiendo es que primero cojáis lo dorado, ya que realmente pues es lo que más nos va a ayudar, ¿no? Esto pues 
son los objetos más tochos dentro de lo que cabe. Las máscaras también vienen bien para, digo, para subirnos el arma y demás. Ya sabéis que el arma la podemos refinar ahora mismo a tope. Y os lo voy a enseñar qué tal se queda refinada a tope. Y ya pues vamos a ir cerrando este pedazo de vídeo. Pero bueno, lo que digo, nos sacamos encima un montón de moras. Así que la cosa va bien. Y bueno, pues tenemos todo lo del evento conseguido, como habéis podido ver, sencillo, rápido y divertido. La tienda se va a quedar un par de días, así que en principio vais a poder eh, completarlo todo. Aquí están las técnicas modificadoras que hemos subido y demás. Yo no las he querido utilizar, por lo que digo, el juego básico me gusta muchísimo y me divierte, así que ahí me he quedado. Pero bueno, ya lo tenemos todo aquí completado, así que nada más que decir. Esto ha sido un evento que ha merecido la pena, a prueba de valor de Akitsu, me lo he pasado en grande de principio a fin. Y como bien os he dicho, vamos a venir a inventario y vamos un poquito a mirar el arma a ver qué tal. Eh, como ya sabéis, es este bonito paraguas de por aquí, así que lo primero de todo venimos aquí. Mientras dure el evento podéis refinarlo más fácil, lo cual pues os lo recomiendo, pero bueno, refinarlo, eh, mejorarlo más fácil, perdón. Vamos a venir aquí, vamos a refinar, ¿vale? Seleccionamos el material y con esto lo tenemos en rango 5, que es el máximo, ¿vale? Aquí está el, el aumento total que hace, es un 32%, lo cual lo mejora. Y bueno, la verdad que es lo que digo, es un arma bastante interesante. Me mola porque, aparte del estilo que está muy guay, pues viene bastante bien. Esto ahora, pues lo que digo, podríamos ir poco a poco eh, mejorándolo, que también viene bien la sabiduría de Narukami para mejorar esta arma a tope y aprovechar que durante este, mientras esté el evento nos va a ser mucho más barata de mejorar. Aún así, lo que digo, un evento divertido con armas importantes, con una nueva corona para seguir mejorando nuestros personajes. Yo creo que es algo que merece la pena. Y bueno, me gustaría saber en comentarios que me digáis vuestra opinión de qué os ha parecido este evento tan místico, ¿no? Tan misterioso con esa intriga y con el detective Heizou y Arakati y todo aquí de nuevo. Así que si os ha gustado, dejadmelo en comentarios, dadme vuestra opinión de qué puntuación le pondríais, qué tal os ha parecido el evento. Y lo que digo, felices fiestas, feliz eh, fin de año, en este caso de este 2022. Pasadlo en grande, disfruta de la vida y nos vemos. En la próxima, adiós.